Welcome to this last video about uh, travel graphs, uh, distance time, speed time graphs. And I copied the same graph as my previous uh, video, which is a speed time graph. Um, because now the question is, what is the distance that this vehicle um, elapsed uh, during his journey? Yeah? And uh, that is the type of question you can expect on maths exams. Okay. So what is the distance? Now, I'm going to explain this uh, to you and then you will understand and uh, you will never forget. How do we find distance, yeah? Well, the distance, I'm sure you realize it, the distance that is the speed times the time, okay? Do you agree with that? And if you forget, because this is not what you need to, need to memorize, yeah? if you forgot, I always make an e easy example for myself. Uh, let's say I go 10 kilometers per hour for two hours. What would be my distance? Yeah, then I multiply yeah, 20 kilometers. Yeah? If 10 kilometers in one hour, then 20 kilometers in two hours. Yeah? My distance, speed times time. Okay, so just to, to uh, uh, revise that. Okay, my speed is constant, I've said in my previous videos. For instance, between these two crosses. And my speed there is 30. And I am traveling 30 kilometers per hour. How long? For one hour. So what is going to be my distance? 30 kilometers per hour for one hour. My distance for this part of the journey is going to be 30 kilometers. And that happens to be the area underneath. If I just look now at this rectangle, the area underneath my graph. Because a rectangle the area is length times width, so 30 times 1. So the distance is given by the area underneath your graph. Okay, very nice. I'm going to check that in a minute for that, um, for that, uh, how do you call that? That's a triangle. Yeah, sorry guys, it's been a long day for me. Uh, but now I'm going to do the same for this rectangle. And of course, there are other ways to cut your graph up. You can make some trapeziums if you like, but I'll just carry on with doing rectangles. 60 kilometers per hour, a constant speed for one and a half hours. 60 kilometers for one and a half hours. That is going to be a distance of 90 kilometers. And that is the area of this rectangle, 60, sorry, 60 times one and a half. So as you can see, it is actually true. Okay, let's have a look for this part. What is the area of this triangle? So that is base times height divided by two. So one times 60 divided by two. So that is going to be 30. I'm just gonna put a circle around it. What about this triangle? Base times height divided by two. One times 30 divided by two. So that is 15. And I just keep it here with a circle around it. And now I have this last little piece left here. And again, I can turn it to a trapezium, but I know you guys don't like that. So I'm going to make that into, again, two parts. A triangle here, base times height divided by two, but now be careful, yeah? So that is a half times from 30 to 60. That's 30 long, yeah? That's careful, 30. A half times 30, that's 15, divided by two, seven and a half. Yeah, I'm not writing down my workings now, which of course is silly, but I don't have enough space. Yeah? Now this rectangle, a half times 30, so that is 15. Okay, so I have all those individual uh, pieces of distance uh, driven by this vehicle. So what is the total distance? What is the total area underneath my graph? So that is the addition and eh, the sum of those uh, individual distances, yeah? So what is that? 30, 60, 90, 180, 187.5. 187 and a half uh, units, kilometers. Okay, travel graphs, guys. We have spoken about distance time graphs. We've spoken about speed time graphs. We've spoken about acceleration. We have spoken about constant speeds, we've spoken about turning around, going back home, we've spoken about yeah, deceleration here. 
Uh, we've spoken about so many things um, and all of it is important and very useful in your lives, okay? So like and share this guys with your friends if it was useful to you, uh, then I can also help them. Check my site explainingmaths.com. I have loads of free resources for you. You can use them, you can ask me questions, I'll make a video for you, not a problem. I wish you a very pleasant evening. I'm going home now uh, because it's been a long day teaching and now this for you, it's time for me to go home and to relax on my sun terrace. It's like 38 degrees in Egypt now, so I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll see you later, bye bye.